In this video, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Cupper Natural and Fair, Natural Fair and Delicious. This is the Advent Calendar. There are 24 cups of teas uh, in this collection. These were sent to us from Maria in Berlin, Germany. So thank you very much to Maria. There are 24, enough for 24 cups of tea, but there are 12 flavors. So this is a really cute box. It's a countdown, uh, the 24 sipping days until Christmas. And then on the back, it tells you the flavors you get. Also on the side, it, it listed, uh, it listed again the flavors that you get. So for example, on day one and day 13, you're going to get lemon and ginger. On day two and day 14, you're going to get cranberry and raspberry. On day three and 15, wonderful morning. Four and six, skinny vanilla. Five and 17, orange and lemon. Six and 18, keep calm. Seven and 19, love me truly. Eight and 20, little dreamer. Nine and 21, green tea lemon. 10 and 22, white tea raspberry. 11 and 23, be happy. And 12 and 24, nighty night. So this box is absolutely adorable. You open it up. How about a lovely cup of Christmas tea? And then it has the scene on the inside. And then you open it from the bottom right here. And the first one, there's your number one. And it has a number one so that you know you're getting the right one. So we are going to be trying one, two, and three. And you'll see Kevin and I change clothes during this video because we're going to be trying three a day until we've tried all 12. So that would be for four days. So what you want to do is you want to um, take these out like this and set them like this. And then you uh, boil your water and we're going to fill the cups up with our boiling water and we're going to let these steep for seven to eight minutes. So, just like this. So the first thing we have is a lemon and ginger, and it is kind of a, uh, a it's a yellow color. It's like a yellowish green. And we did add one sugar packet to each cup. We did do that. Um, I didn't think about that when I was making it, and then uh, we allowed it to steep for the seven minutes, and um, Kevin said we should put sugar in there because we wouldn't ordinarily drink it without sugar. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's nice. It's a light. It, it's a refreshing kind of tea. I don't get ginger uh, really. I just get lemon. Yeah, I get lemon. I think this would be good on any day, but if you if you had like a your throat was feeling scratchy yeah, or anything that, like that at all, nice. I think that could be very very soothing to your throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'm glad it doesn't have a really strong ginger because I mean the flavor yeah. of ginger would be fine, but that burn I wouldn't want that burn of ginger. It's mainly lemon though, yep. but it it's is nice. a it's a very nice lemon. Yep. So the next one is going to be cranberry and raspberry. And it's red. It is. <laughs> Very red. And you, as you're bringing it to your mouth, you can smell that raspberry. It's a uh, very it's strong. It's a strong raspberry. Um, and so, for me, I would say I taste cranberry, but not ras. Uh, I mean, I taste raspberry, but not cranberry. So I'm sure. Like the first one, if they did put the ginger in, I'm sure there would be some difference in flavor, but. Those are the flavors that are coming out more. Uh, so we have lemon and then mainly raspberry. Yeah, but I do get a cranberry, that tartness of cranberry. And, the, and the, I do get cranberry from that. I get a, like a mixture. I think for me though, it's like 95% raspberry. Yeah, it's mostly raspberry. But yeah. I do get a little a little burst of cranberry in there too. It's really, I like it. It's not too overpowering. No, though. no, it's not nice. at all. It's very, this is a, what I would consider a, like a soothing tea. It's yeah. not strong. It's just, it's nice and soothing. Uh, the third one. I can one, tell you what color this one is. It's in a dark cup. It says wonderful morning. So this is going to be a surprise. What makes a wonderful morning? Hmm. I get some citrus in there. It smells. It's got some other stuff going on. When you bring it to your nose, uh, your mouth and nose, it smells like lemon again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do get citrus. For sure. It's so very light. It's it's a nice flavor though. I like the flavor of it. It's just very um 
it's hard to tell. What it's the more are. like like if this was this was supposed to be lemon and ginger. That's more pure lemon to me. But it once again, it's soothing. It's not really strong. It's not um, overpowering, or it doesn't put you off of it. You just you want to take another drink because it tastes so so nice. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. It is mostly lemon. It's lemon. got some other mm -hmm. like things in it, but it's mostly it's mostly lemon. Yeah. So it's very similar to the first one. Although the first one is a little bit different because you do get that flavor of ginger kind of under there. You don't notice it as ginger, but it changes the flavor. Right. Little. The first one's a little bit stronger yeah. because of that. Yeah. But all three of these are very They're good. Very good. It's a great start to the advent yeah. calendar. And one sweetener so. packet was more than enough. So we're going to make the next three exactly like we made the first three and we'll be right back. So for day four, we're going to be trying, you can go ahead, we're going to be trying skinny vanilla. Skinny vanilla. So I don't know what the skinny part means, but vanilla, I'm assuming it's going to be vanilla. It is a pink color, so you wouldn't know, you wouldn't think vanilla. I don't like that one much. It does have a vanilla flavor. It does, but it's got an underlying, like, very, it's very earthy. Now, see, I don't get that at all. Ooh, I do. I mean, it's almost like a, it's not earthy, maybe. It's just, it's maybe fruity. I don't know. There's something in there besides the vanilla that's, that's awful. I don't know there. what they put in there with the vanilla because I'm only getting the vanilla. It almost, to me, tastes like, um, they, it's so sweet, it's almost like a cake frosting uh, vanilla. Yeah. It's very... Maybe it's just too much vanilla for me. I, don't I guess it, I, it's just too strong. I really do like that. It, that taste, um, as far as teas go, usually they're not that sweet to me. They're Well, not that this is overly sweet, but they're, they don't remind me like of a dessert. Uh, most teas don't. This one actually has a dessert flavor right. to me because it has that vanilla. But now you're not getting that no. at all. I mean, I'm getting vanilla. No, trust me, I'm getting vanilla. There's just something you else. You think it's that's, too much. There's something else in there that I don't like. Uh, number five is going to be orange and lemon. You can smell the citrus. I love the smell of that and everything. I think it's wonderful. Orange and lemon. There's a strong lemon. Oh, Although but, I do get the orange too. Oh, I love how well that goes yeah. together. It, it, it's not bad. It's not bitter or sour. Or oh, no. Like that. That's delicious. The, the that's orange, a soothing. Yes, it is. The orange and lemon really go well together. Um, yeah. My mom used to mix Kool-Aid, uh, uh, not Kool-Aid packs, but they were different packs um, of powders. She would mix like orange, uh, two orange and one lemon or three lemon and two orange or something like that. And put it in one pitcher. It was delicious. That that's wonderful. Yeah, it does remind you of that. It's um, good. I like that one better than the first one. And the vanilla one. number six just says keep calm. So we I have no idea what it's gonna be. Keep calm and carry on. Hmm. I have an idea what that flavor is, but it's a it's just a nice spiced tea. What and do you think? That clove, is? maybe a little cinnamon and clove. It's it's a it's like that. It's that kind of flavor. Maybe a touch of ginger. I don't know. What are you getting? I don't know. I, I, I'm almost thinking it's clove. I'm thinking clove and ginger, but not cinnamon. Yeah, Doug said the cinnamon was like. Eh, it could yeah, be. I I think clove and I'll agree with clove and ginger. I like clove. That's cinnamon. my favorite one. Really. Mm. Um, I think my favorite one is going to be the orange, orange and lemon. lemon. I love that. I really do like that. But now I like the I uh, like the, vanilla. the vanilla. I know you didn't like. I mean, I could drink right? it for that one day and it'd be done, or the two days that you get it. I could drink it and be done with it. But I, it's not a flavor I'm going to buy. Like I said, as far as teas, it's different. It is it's different. unique because you don't normally get that uh, sweet. Like a, a dessert flavor in a tea. I think me for when I'm when drinking a warm drink, I like the spiced like. Yes, flavor. and it is good. It all is three good. of them are good, so yeah. I, I don't discount any of them. I like them all, but uh, those are just my two favorites. Uh, so we'll be back with uh, the next three. The next three. Day number seven, we have. It's called Love Me Truly. Hmm. So you go ahead and take a drink out of that. Love me truly. It's almost a thing in Germany. I don't know. It I does think. sound like a... <laughs> it sounds like an Elvis love song. Love me tender, love me sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Love me truly. I don't, I don't know what it's going to taste like.
that one reminds me just a little bit. It's not as strong of the last one. They yes, had it cloves and, yes. and a little bit of maybe ginger or something mm -hmm. in there. That, it's not as strong though, but it reminds me a lot of that flavor. Yes, it does me too. It's a spiced tea. One way or the other, that's what it is. It's a spiced tea. But it, I get like a clove flavor in there. Uh, I think it has uh, uh, some clove in it as well. Uh, once again, it's not cinnamon. Um, mm -hmm. But it didn't seem like it might have some cinnamon in there. But I think this one is stronger than the last See, one. See, I think the other one's stronger. Do you really? Mm -hmm. I, but I do taste the clove. Yeah. Yeah, I think the last one was stronger. Uh, that, I'm, I mean, that's not like, the other one was almost overpowering. I like it. I, th I think I've I like liked. A spice I think I've liked every one of these. I, I'm sure I say that after every one. The only I one like I really it. didn't like so far has been that vanilla one. I liked, liked it. it. <laughs> um, this is number eight. It is the uh, Little Dreamer. Ooh, that one's hot. Little Dreamer, and I'm wondering if it's not going to have some lavender in it. Maybe I, it's soothing or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Definitely lavender. It's very floral. It's very, yes, I do not like that. Yeah, I don't care for that one. Um, anything um, floral. Potpourri. <laughs> yeah. When it tastes like potpourri, we yeah. don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't want it in my food. I don't want it in, in any time I hear that somebody's gonna add rose or lavender to food, I'm like, Scary I'm immediately bit. like tense up because it's like, ooh, I know what that tastes like and it's so strong that um, it's hard not to go overboard mm -hmm. and and why put it if you're not going to taste it but I, I will never order anything with it because i absolutely just do not like it yeah, i don't like that floral flavor either. i do not like that yeah. that would be not be for me at all no. okay number nine number nine is green tea lemon Lemon has been a theme with this box. They've had like what three or four lemon ones. Yeah, he I thought wants it would change. To be a millionaire. I thought it would change color. Is that the one where they say you are the weakest link? No, that's the weakest link. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wrong show. <laughs> I've never watched. I don't. I don't think that. Regis. We, did we ever watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Uh, a few times. Sorry, I'm commenting on the cup. Um, yeah, this. Sorry. This where they lock in their final answer. And they can ask mm. the audience or phone a friend. It's been a long been time. Okay, does that not come on anymore? Oh, I don't, oh, know. I don't, I don't know. know. It might come on somewhere else. I love that. It's good. It, it's got. It's a lemon. It's a lemon flavor. It tastes like lemon. Yeah. I, you would never know that it's a green tea at all. No. Um, it, it doesn't taste grassy like a lot of no. green teas. A lot of green teas we've tried taste have very been earthy, very earthy, very grassy, uh -huh. very green. And that is not like that. At all. It's just lemon. It's lemon. I don't think it's as good as the lemon that we had previously no. with well, like the lemon and ginger. Yeah. yeah, with like the lemon and ginger. I really like that one. Um, it doesn't taste uh, as good as that, but I still like it. So yeah. lemon and tea just works. <coughs> it does. So, uh, so my we, favorite is the spice one. Uh, my favorite out of this group is the spice one as well. Yeah. Uh, so b when we come back, it's going to be the final three, and we will have tried all twelve because there are twenty four packets in the box, but you get two of each flavor. So we'll be back with the final three. We have our final three flavors of tea. Uh, the first one that we're gonna try, number 10, is white tea raspberry. And you can really smell the raspberry. Mm -hmm. It smells sweet. It's actually really nice. It's a nice, like, it's not overpowering the raspberry either. It's not like a uh, raspberry. It's just a nice it's soothing, soothing yes. raspberry. That's a nice too. It's soothing. It is mellow without being watered down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it still has a really great flavor without being uh, washed out, yeah. you know? And it the white tea. the raspberry. The white tea, I don't know if that's a, a lighter tea flavor, but it doesn't have that really strong like tea flavor. I agree. Yeah, it's more raspberry than anything. Yes. Number 11 is, it's 
both of the, the last Limited. two, we're just going to have to find out because this one is called Be Happy. <laughs> Forget your troubles, come on. There's something citrusy in there. It doesn't taste like lemon, but it smells citrusy. It might be lemon. That's terrific. It's nice, uh, but it does have a little citrus note um, to it. I love the word note. Um, I agree with you. I think it has. Um, I don't know what it, it's not. It doesn't taste like lemon because it's not as strong and tart. As and it like doesn't lemon. taste like a pure orange. No, but there's but something citrus. It in there. tastes like a combination mm -hmm. of orange and something yeah. else. But that's nice. That's better than the lemon ones I've, that we've had so far because the lemon ones are just okay for me. No, that's probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah, that's I, really I nice. love that. That is that's wonderful. And the last. Can't tell you what it is though. Last but not least. Uh, this is called a nighty night. Oh. Nighty hmm. night. I have no clue what that is, but it's really good. <laughs> that almost tastes like a candy I've had. Like a, um, you know the little hard candies you get at Christmas time? Mm -hmm. That's got a spice that's in those. Maybe uh, maybe cloves? And I don't know. It's not. I like that one, though. That's my least favorite. Oh, really? I kind of like it. It's, <laughs> does it not remind you of a candy of some kind, like a like one of those little mints, like the flavored hard yes. candies? Yes, it does. And it's horrible when it's on the tip of your tongue and you cannot think of what it is. Um, it's not anise or anything. Like, it's no, not like that. No. It's not. It does clone. have that licorice kind of thing? Yeah. Um, Which there is a little clove there too. No, but it's not pure cloth. No, no, no. There's no. Else. I do think that I do think it's almost it has, like a kind of mint or something. I do think it, that would be a, a good guess. A combination of clove and a mint, but the mint would be very, 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 very light. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of like clove candy and and like Hormel candy. Horns. Hor. Horns. Or <laughs> candy. Well, get it, so, we'll get there. Um, it reminds me of that kind of flavor. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I get that. But it's lighter. Yeah. Whorehound, I would, uh, that's what I would guess. Yeah. Whorehound, but a lighter flavor. But see, I like the ones. So far, I've liked the ones that have the spices more than I've liked the fruity and the citrusy ones. Right. So, and it makes I, sense that I, I, would like, I like the citrusy ones. Yeah. I, I like the lemon and the orange. Well, Although, I do like the raspberry a lot. I think this is a great box of two. Yeah, I think it's different. Um, yes, it's very different. I like how they, uh, when you opened it up, it's easy to pull it. Well, they turn now because I've turned the box. But, but you're gonna, you can figure out what the yes, numbers are. Yes, they all are numbered. All of these are numbered. But what I, I'm really impressed with with it is because the T isn't really, really strong and it doesn't, none of the flavors are like com covered up. They all, all the flavors, have their to place to shine, but they're not overpowering. It still is, it's a very smooth, soothing tea. All of these are very soothing. Yeah, yeah, I would, these none are relaxing are, teas. No yeah, way. none of them are bold. Right, yeah. But, but that's, to me, that's the way a tea should be. It should be a, a pleasant experience. It shouldn't be like a, a jolt of coffee in the morning, right. you know, wake you up. A tea is, is different for me. Um, so thank you very much to Maria. I think this is a great gift. Um, I know, I don't think, uh, we'll be able to get it here. Uh, but anybody that's in Germany that sees this, just know it's a safe bet. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.